Now that I've given you an idea of what Data Robot is, let's take a look at the platform. So this is our login page. You can use uh, your Google account to sign in, your GitHub account, or you can use your single sign-on provider. In this case, I'm just gonna sign in with the username and password. So once you log in, you'll be taken to our initial landing page where we show some recent activity from current or recent projects. We have our workbench, our registry, and our console. I'm gonna to touch on these briefly, but we will do much deeper dives on these later on. The first section I wanna address is our workbench. Our workbench basically contains all of our use cases, and this is an experiment-based user interface that's optimized to support iterative workflows. It enables users to group and share everything that they need to solve a specific problem from a single location. Workbench is organized by use case, and each use case contains the data sets, the vector databases, playgrounds, models, and notebooks, and applications for all of your projects. So everything for each of your use case or your project is gonna be located in the uh, workbench. So next I wanna go into our registry. And what this is, is a centralized location where you can access versioned deployment ready model packages. From here, you can create custom models and jobs, generate compliance documentation, and deploy models in production. And finally, I want to go to our console. So once you've deployed your models, this is a central hub for deployment and management activity. It's a dashboard that provides access to deployed models for further monitoring and mitigation. And it also provides access to prediction activities and allows you to view, create, edit, delete, or share serverless and external prediction environments. And then one other thing that I wanted to show here is that we can go into our application templates here. And what these are, are pre-made AI applications that are, some of these are predictive, they're uh, time series. We also have generative and agentic type of applications. We are continually building on this library. But what these are, are these, these are pre-made use cases that have all the assets that you need to deploy or get started on a predictive, agentic, or time series um, use cases or projects or problems that, you're, that you want to solve. So you'd simply click on one of these and then it would create all the assets or walk you through creating all the assets to deploy a functional model. And then you can use that as a starting point for your project. 